mind, the best summer days happen when you can just take it nice and slow. Well, it turns out Mother Nature tends to agree. You may have noticed, but this time of the year, weather systems tend to crawl by when during the winter time, they just blast right on through. I'll explain the change of pace between seasons in this week's Heather's Weather Wise. This has happened to us a couple of times within the last couple of weeks. We watch a cold front coming in from the west. Out ahead of it, our weather gets really hot and humid. We wait for that front to come through, but it turns out it's just gonna take its sweet time and we just sit here and sweat. There's a reason for the sluggish weather and it comes up every summer and not just here in Western New York. The entire Northern Hemisphere tends to see a slowdown during the peak of the summer season. This time of the year, the peak of the uh, summer season in the northern hemisphere, the average temperature in the Arctic is in the 50s, while the average temperature closer to the equator is in the 90s. That's a temperature difference of about 40 degrees. And sure, if we were to go from Buffalo up to the Arctic, that 50 degree temperature would be a little bit of a shock to the system. But actually, relatively speaking, that's a pretty small difference, especially when you consider that difference in the winter. Then, temperatures near the equator are close to 80 degrees, while polar regions are plunged to near negative 40 degrees. That's a little more extreme. Our weather is driven by these temperature differences, and that's because the atmosphere naturally wants to restore balance. The way it does that is by drumming up these weather systems to try to transport energy to different parts of the atmosphere. The thing is, that true balance can never actually be achieved, and in the wintertime, with that bigger temperature difference, weather systems are a little more vigorous. And yes, that includes cold fronts. Those big blasts of cold air that come in behind a cold front force it to plow forward. If there isn't a big change in the air on the other side of the front, it just sort of loses steam. And trust me, as frustrating as it is for all of us to sit and wait for these fronts to come through when it's real hot and humid, it is even more frustrating to try to forecast these slow moving fronts because it turns out a faster moving system is a lot easier to predict. These slow moving meandering fronts tend to have a mind of their own until something else comes and just knocks it out of the way. That's it for this week's Heather's Weather Wise. I'll see you next week with a new topic, but until then, remember it's good to be a geek.